like everybody these days is going to be like, hey, I started a business. I should be driving a fucking beautiful car right away. I should be moving into the next neighborhood with a bigger house immediately. You see it all the time with entrepreneurs mm -hmm. or, or, or business owners, right? Their, their, their banks start seeing some money. They start seeing some business rolling. Perfect. And to go with that, I have to build up this facade. I have to get a yeah. new car. I have to dress a little differently. Go to more expensive clothing stores. I'm going to have to move into a bigger <laughs> house because it's a status change for me now. Yeah. Right? When in reality, a true entrepreneur steps into that role and says, I'm going to be the brokest motherfucker out there for the next 10, 15 years in grinding. Mm -hmm. Right? As opposed to the person that's like, hey, I opened up shop. Three months later, I got a new car. Six months later, I got a new house. I'm buying a cottage by the end of the year. Spend your money, at, um, invest your money in helping others grow. Yeah, and that's what, you know that's what, what I mean? will give then, you. And then that's fuck, real whatever. gratification. Listen, if you want to get your car, blah, 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 that makes you feel good for the moment, that's fine. But that's not the goal. That You don't need to flaunt that. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. doesn't make sense. Life is more than just the, the perception of how you are, uh, what you're, you are in terms of social status. Exactly. Espe especially, like, like to, to, to even go to this whole Instagram and social media thing again. And I know we're, we're bashing, but it's really what's happening in our society right now, which is huge. And it's making people feel like they're, they're losing or they're, they're not going anywhere because they're not at that stage. I could tell you right now, we're far ahead of, you know, in front of a lot of people. But I still drive a 2001 Purple Civic four-door that's rusted. Today's topic is about delayed gratification. It's just because I've been dealing with that kind of stuff all morning with different people. Mm -hmm. and, so, and then you sent it the other day to me, and mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was great. What do we mean by that? It's kind of like, there's, you know, along your journey, wherever you're at, you're going to be tempted to have, like, there's going to be little, small little victories along the way, small little payoffs, right? Uh, on your journey to, like, trying to achieve, Anything. say, fit, your fitness your goal. Your fitness goal. Um, entrepreneurial, make yeah, business goal, career goal. Career goal. Relationship yeah. goal. Yeah. Like, in anything, there's going to be small little pieces of gratification that you can get and, you know, small little rewards. Now, do you always take those small little rewards or do you kind of just save it, put it in the bank, for the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. I think what we're really talking about today is is seeing the bigger picture in, in life overall. So if your journey is, say, martial arts, mm -hmm. right? A black, like a person doesn't start at a black belt level, right? No, definitely not. The black belt is, is, is they say, is you start at a white belt and over years of training and, and it literally, the mat dirties your belt so much that it turns black. Yes. But it took about 10,000 hours of doing that. Yes. You don't get a black belt immediately. No. Just, hey, you, you know, you go and submit a guy once. It's kind of like, yeah, this is it. Nor do you get to stand in front of the entire class where the black belts stand. Exactly. Right? I don't know if you guys in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, the so black, black belt, the black belt stands belts in front of you. Stand, like the teachers stand yeah. in front of the And students. we bow to them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, and, ain't, and you ain't getting across that those mats no, without it, a black belt, son. Yeah, exactly. And you're not going to go and bow to just anybody because they've earned that thing, yeah. right? Yeah. So a lot of times to, today, because of what you see on social media, I find that a lot of people think that things are just a quick payout, especially because social media has made it possible for a lot of people to get rich get very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And they think that this is, the, this is it. And that if I'm, if I'm taking a certain time to, say, succeed with my business or in anything endeavor, I, I don't have six-pack abs, and I've been working out for six months now. Come on, mm -hmm. what the hell? Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way, right? But I think people who, who look at social media every single day, it's kind of like, oh, this person's fit, and this person's rich, and this person's business is doing well. Number one, is it really? And number two, it's, it's taking time to build that stuff. Even a body takes time. Well, you know, the, I think let's break it down. What is – when you first start something, it's – mentally you kind of know that you're going to go through some shit right it's almost like you you're you're okay with it for a period mm -hmm, of time mm -hmm. when does it now turn into fuck i wish i had that now i wish i had more i wish I had that car i wish I had that by this stage yeah at what stage i wish i wish i was further along in my journey than i really am I think that's really the question why people start to feel that way. And maybe it's an entitlement, th entitlement thing. Maybe it's an, an ego thing that I work so damn hard that maybe I deserve this new car. It's so funny. I got a financial post. Um, 
I got a financial post uh, article today um, from somebody, and they sent it to me, and it's all about how this past year's ele- election, the, the one that just passed. Uh, with the, the Canadian one? Yes. Yeah. So uh, Trudeau's government got voted in, the Liberals got voted in for 22% of whatever the vote. So like, I'm not trying to get 22, that's it? Or whatever it is, right? Out of um, the whole thing, right? But that's out of like every party that was there. So that's like a majority, mm-hmm. right? Uh, minority majority style. Yeah. But they go, and this just goes to prove to you that uh, Canadians these days are more entitled than ever. And the mentality is towards that. He goes, because here's a guy that's going around saying, you know, climate change. Meanwhile, he flies around two private jets everywhere he oh, goes through his campaign. Yeah. yeah man. Right. It gets taken around by black SUVs that just guzzle gas and he's a, he's going around preaching hey climate change yeah and that whole article like i'm not i'm not bashing you i'm just merely saying what that article said in the financial <laughs> post and it's so funny you just said that because and it, that has everything to do with instant gratification mm-hmm. you know what i mean like everybody these days is going to be like hey i started a business i should be driving a fucking beautiful car right away I should be moving into the next neighborhood with a bigger house immediately you see it all the time with entrepreneurs mm-hmm. or, or, or business owners right their, their, their bank starts seeing some money. They start seeing some business roll in. Perfect. Then to go with that, I have to build up this facade. I have to get a yeah. new car. I have to dress a little differently. Go to more expensive clothing stores. I'm going to have to move into a bigger house because it's a status change for me now. Yeah. Right? When in reality, a true entrepreneur steps into that role and says, I'm going to be the brokest motherfucker out there for the next 10, 15 years in grinding. Mm-hmm. Right, as opposed to the person that's like, "Hey, I opened up shop. Three months later, I got a new car. Six months later, I got a new house. I'm buying a cottage by the end of the year." You know, people always go for us. We delayed our gratification immensely for for a long period of time. Maybe you know longer than we needed to. Uh, remember, we got we were paying ourselves like two hundred bucks we were bi-weekly. Paying, we were paying ourselves two hundred bucks by weekly at one point in time. At one, at one point in time, and like, that's literally not even enough to get by. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah. what we did was every time that you showed every couple months, we'd, we'd, we'd make a bigger business, mm-hmm. right? Drop but that. yeah, what was the reason for that? Like, so let's, let's, let's so we're going to put real. it in a state of like, let's just say growing a business, mm-hmm. right? Um, we're going to tell your own personal story because every, so year after year, we saw growth in our business, in our numbers, in our sales and all that stuff. But we never saw it as, oh my God, my net worth is going up or my bank is going, I had nothing to do with that. It's about we have more money to leverage now to be able to further scale the business. Yeah, just for year pers- after year perspective, after year. Uh, our first year, we, I, th- I think we took in like 20 something thousand. Yes. And then the year after that, we did 100 something thousand. Right. Year after that, we did 400,000. So our business was growing significantly. Right. And then, and we're, our, we're, but our paychecks, but, but our, our paychecks was not reflected like, on that. And yeah, it wasn't and that at was all. for seven years. Yeah, for eight I mean, years. I still remember we were taking home like, you know, 700 bi-weekly and we're yeah. like, oh shit, we're, we're, we're doing it. And we look at people's <laughs> paychecks now when they're still blowing ours, blowing ours out of the yeah, water, yeah. Well, which is funny. great. <laughs> that's fantastic. But the point is, it's, you know, you're going to see two kinds of people. One that's, that's immediately like looking for that gratification or, 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 or that sort of sign saying, yes, you're making it. Yes, you're doing well, right? Yeah. People want to step on a mat and become a fucking white to blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Right or or white to black, but I saw a guy like BJ Penn who did who got a black belt for three in three years. That's unheard of. Typical black belt's about ten, right? Now he got that in three years because the, all the guy did for eight to ten hours a day for those three years was live on the mat. Live on the mat. Went he all did in. the equivalent of ten thousand hours of mastery in three years. Is all yeah. he did. Yeah, ten years is like what? what um, a couple, one hour a day, exactly. three days a week, exactly over ten years. Exactly. If you're there from morning till night. Exactly. For three years, I'd say you're you're probably you're more well primed. over ten. You're probably 000. better off than the of guy who's you know guy or girl who's there like well you know, because that's all your mind. class because that's all your mind thinks yeah, about your entire body. You're immersed in it. You are that person. You now. are that person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So and that goes with everything, right? You're not just immediately like, uh, and, and and guys, if you open up a business, like I swear, don't don't think you start seeing clients come through, customers come through. Don't blow your fucking load immediately. Yo, I can't tell you how you many need. Time. I tell you how many times like I see people who have businesses and I, and, and the type of business they have and the cars that they're leasing out immediately and and the places that they're going the shit that they're buying and I I can't help them in the back of my mind saying yo we, we pay more in HST than you make 
in a, in a month and you probably make it in like a quarter or yeah. a year a year yeah and we don't even ever go that route yeah. we don't you know what i mean like i'd rather purchase i'd rather hire somebody to help us with our team so we could grow cool. bigger yeah right yeah so uh, the the real question is are you in whatever you're, what are you trying to do that's really what it is are you trying to build a business so you could just live lavish which is not going to really sustain you because if the type of businesses that these people are really making they it's them it's that like they're they have to be in the business they they have to work because they're they're still seeing clients and stuff like that here's a big one for instant gratification plastic surgery is massive these days mm. or any work done on the body it's just, it's even, actually, it's a bigger industry than the fitness industry, right? It's a bigger industry than the fitness industry. That tells you something, meaning more people would rather do zero work, zero effort, pay up, take away my love handles, yeah, than diet for fucking six months and exercise for four or five days a week for the next six months, right? But guess what happens when they start reducing fat, like fat reduction and stuff like that? I used to get people all the time when the consoles come in, like, oh, I was thinking of doing fat reduction or, or lipo. And, and I'm like, you know what they do, right? They displace that shit. What do they do? They, they, they displace. So, so your, fat reduction and lipo are two different things? Yeah. What is, what is fat reduction? Um, it's, it's actually, well, f okay, so fat, lipo is a fat reduction. Yeah. But, and then there's fat displacement. So which okay, means they just pretty much displace it. Displace it meaning what? Around your body. They take fat from your stomach and put it where? Your ass, your thighs, so that it looks more um, that balanced. Is, that is so interesting. I didn't know they it's did a that. Fucking multi-billion-dollar industry. Man. Lipo is fat reduction, but so you want to you want to keep the fat and put it somewhere else? Yeah, or you, they take Shit. it out. They cut it out. They actually take it out, and you'll have a fucking piece of fat. I, I get that. There. I get that. Yeah. Yes, but here's the thing that a lot of people and then. I, I asked him, so what are you going to do when it comes back? I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then what are you going to do when it comes back after that? I just, you know, Keep doing uh, it. Uh, okay, know. how many times are you going to willing to slice yourself? <laughs> because here's the thing. In lipo, they take that shit out, but the fat cells in your body stay as, 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 as they are. Yeah. You're not going to reduce the amount of fat cells in your body. Fat cells either increase or right or decrease yes you're not going to increase or decrease the amount that you have in your body just because you get lipo which means that shit's more likely coming back especially with the lifestyle that you still lead mm. right so instant gratification get my lipo done see if i ever did lipo okay. i'd be like okay i did lipo i'm gonna eat clean now and train yeah, my try, ass but that's the problem that's why <laughs> the, but, but, but remember, i guess that's the initial that's, problem that, that's the initial problem that's the initial problem they don't have it in them to see the end game to see the big result to see the big picture of okay, right? It's it's not the fact that it's not the fact that I'm losing fat. It's the process of doing it. It's it's not the fact that you know. Forget about the fact that you're okay. I, I got fit looking immediately, but you're not fit, and that's just gonna show on the outwardly soon enough too. Yeah, physically you're not. Fit. Physically you're not fit. What you want to do is work on your actual fitness, and you will look fit. Yeah. But that's a process. Or that's delayed about, gratification. How about this though? Those fitness um, competitors who get lipo to kind of slice themselves a little bit better. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, that's, those, those people do that too, man. Yeah, I know they do. Yeah. <laughs> lipo is not just for like. It's not for just fat. Like it's, it's, it's for to really everybody. Shape, yeah, it's shape, to reshape, yeah, the, to reshape contour your body and yeah. the, all these things these days. That's cheating though, isn't it? But that's, and the, the thing cheating, is, yo, for that instant this, gratification. You're not, it's not going to last very long. And that, that goes for anything. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're, if you're a business owner who blew your load on a fucking house, car, and this new lifestyle that you got to upkeep now with your family to everybody, you know, because it's a persona now, right? And this is who I am now. You, you identify yourself as that. I, it's so skewed though, man. It's but not I mean, going to last very long. When I get it. I get oh, you're a business owner, like that, that thought of you having so much money or not having a nice car and all that shit. Like Warren Buffett still drives a piece of shit car. Yeah, he still and, lives and in the goes, same house. And lives in the same house and in does, Nebraska. And that he, he, did. he does. He goes to the McDonald's drive-through, and depending on how the market's doing, he either get a, was it a coffee or, you know, a, yeah, yeah, a or, or, or a muffin or a right? muffin or yeah. something like that. And, and depending it, on how the market is, he <laughs> he might just upgrade to a muffin. Yeah, like, if not, then I'm just having coffee. And this man's like a multi-billionaire. You want to know what's crazy? You see that uh, Bill Gates. Um, 
documentary, right? Yeah. The one that's out on Netflix right now. If you so, haven't seen it, you need to watch it. You need that to watch shit. that shit. That shit is crazy. Him and Warren Buffett are an episode driving around in Nebraska. And they're driving a fucking Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, Between the yeah. two of them, their net worth trumps pretty much a lot of this world. Yeah. Those are the two richest men, like, you know, two of some of the richest men in this world walking around together, driving around together. And they're driving a Cadillac. Cadillac is, yes, it's got a higher up name, but he's yeah. not driving a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or a Bugatti. He's driving, they're driving a Cadillac around for this documentary. And that's, you know, that's just what it is. And they were talking in a cafe and they're talking they, to like, cafe they weren't in no like steakhouse yeah and then they in a uh, private club. another portion of it is uh though a very nice house is very humble and, and and you know and part of um buffett's house it was crazy mm -hmm. so that could that that'll show you real success isn't what people put out there it's and, and it doesn't come like that overnight mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because you opened up your pizza shop, that doesn't mean you go and buy a fucking BMW X5 the next day. <laughs> I'm well, serious because okay, so, I've heard okay. that already. Okay. I've seen it. Okay, so uh, on the other side of the coin, right? I'm playing devil, devil's advocate. There's a lot of people out there who who would do that to themselves, A, to feel like, you know, get that gratification, but to really pressure them to continue to push harder so they could live that lifestyle. Yeah. That, what, what is your take on that? I think I think number one, first of all, is if you're gonna do that stuff, you have to find what your real focus is. Your real focus is business and growing that business and scaling that. You don't even have a fucking thought in your mind about that other stuff. Yeah. Right? That 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 isn't the push. You yeah. have to understand that. That's never gonna be your why. Yeah. I mean, remember when we first started, we kind of almost got caught up in that. We, we did like, get caught like, up in that. We go out to drink. I'm like, yeah, you know, we have a business, blah, blah, we blah. Talk up. all that we shit. We got caught up in that. Yeah. Remember that? And the difference between my young self and now is my young self used to be like, yeah, we're open business. I'm doing this. I'm going to get the Ferrari. We're going to get the fucking yeah, house yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. That shit doesn't fucking matter. You know what my goal is? I want to fucking employ 20,000 people. Yeah. 20,000 people put it here. around the world I want to employ. Yeah. That is 20,000 fucking families that you are feeding to help. Mm-hmm. And twenty thousand people that you are that you are connecting with and and making better and having having giving them the opportunity to ha become a better person, yeah, to be a better skilled person, to challenge them. You're actually now actually doing something for the human fucking race, yeah. And two hundred fifty locations across the world will help about a million people improve and their that, lives. Yeah, that's not and that's M not even yeah. We're not even talking about yeah. We're now we're talking about membership. Like yeah, people that's who are like actually, a million people. That's my that's our goal, man. A million that's, people to and help. That's crazy. That'd be crazy because like it, it has nothing to do with a number anymore. The number in business and in in life and for in general where you can reach is infinite. You understand what infinite is? That is three lifetimes time. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever. For all you mathematicians out there, okay. Um, that is beyond anything you could imagine. So it's infinite, the possibility of you can make. If you think that driving around this little thing that fucking made you, you know, instantly happy and to give you this status, in the whole, you know, spectrum of the world, you're a little piece of nothing that doesn't yeah. really matter. Nobody really gives a fuck what you drive. Yeah. Nobody really cares what you drive, man. Nobody cares about your status. You listen, I, uh, we have a friend. Who owns a 15,000 square foot house, right? 15,000 mm -hmm, square foot, mm -hmm. multimillionaire, mm -hmm. uh, sits on a uh, couple of acres. We're boys. So mm -hmm. we go to his house, mm -hmm. we play poker. Yeah. You hang out. There's no difference. No. There's absolutely no difference between people who are super successful, who have all the wealth in the world, who have 15,000, like massive house that you can't even find your family in. At the end of the day, we're sitting there, we're drinking the same whiskey. We're playing the same card game. We're putting up, and the, and the buy-in was literally like forty bucks. Steve Jobs, goals <laughs> before the time of his death, he's like, he said something how, you know, whether I drink, whether you drink uh, a three thousand dollar glass of, of 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 whiskey, or I get a ten dollar moonshine, we're both going to end up drunk, regardless. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Um. If you have a you know a five thousand dollar suit on and I got like a fifty dollar fucking whole wardrobe going on, I'm still gonna be dressed up and so are you. Mm -hmm. And at this stage of my life, when he had cancer, right when he was in his like dying stages, he goes, "I have all the money in the world, and I still can't help myself. There's nothing I could pay for that will get me a brand new of everything I need for my body to forever function again." 
you have a friend that passed away like uh, years ago, our client, right? Mm-hmm. He said the same thing. Same thing, man. He was one of the richest people in Order Canada. Condren in Canada. In, in Condren. He said, yeah. I have all the money in the world. I am a multi billionaire. I can't do anything to help myself. Yeah. I cannot it's pay health, anybody health. To, to, to take this cancer for me or to take this. At the end of the day, that's what it is. Life is more than just the, the perception of how you are. Uh, what you you are in terms of social status exactly Espe- especially like, like to 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 even go to this whole instagram and social media thing again and i know we're we're bashing but it's really what's happening in our society right now which is huge and it's making people feel like they're they're losing or they're they're not going anywhere because they're not at that stage i could tell you right now we're far ahead you know in front of a lot of people but i still drive a 2001 purple civic four door that's rusted and how much did it cost you again oh, fifteen hundred dollars that's and the I, best fifteen hundred dollars you've ever invested in anything dude it got it's us still it got us to the meetings that took us took our business to the next mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. and if there are any sales people like oh i need a fucking nice bmw to be able to sell no you don't yo if you're a real salesman you could sell anything in a 2001 purple civic four door mm-hmm. rusted because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter about the car you drive it matters what service you give your clientele because that energy supersedes anything else that's the real god right true straight up because invest invest in you, you. invest in your ability to in help you. others do that take your stupid money that you're going to spend on in a club uh, your stupid fucking whatever go BMW, hire two or three people to grow yourself grow your business grow yourself grow your and business. give them an opportunity i think you guys you need to have new metrics i think success metrics has to change now 100 percent. right 100%. it's not about who drives like, who drives a bmw who drives or, a mercy everybody or, does that or, or that's not or, success you know or in again in, in getting fit it's like um i got there faster than you did so what who gives a shit who gives right? a shit I, I was bodybuilding when i was 17 years old i got on stage by the time i was like 21 i got fit i don't give a shit <laughs> there's a lot of people walking around with six-pack cabs but, but look, great okay, for, for example look at farshad farshad is one of the fittest people on the planet yes, he's he not is. he's not taking selfies and shirtless exactly. all the time exactly <laughs> and that's the difference and that's the difference that if you look at any of our content from our videos online about nutrition training therapy to our podcast none of this crap is fucking fluff no all of the shit is real it's 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 helpful to somebody it will help you in your life um, it empowers us to give it to to to, to people, mm-hmm. right? And and none of it is fluff. You can all use all of it. And none of it is to boast. No, and that's real. That's real content. Yeah, right. That's what content should be like. So we believe in social media. We believe in all that, right? But it's it's giving back, guys. That's the real gratification. It's yeah. the process of doing something, learning the process, the wisdom that you attain from the process, right? The person you grow to become. In that process, how many books since we started this business have we finished in and out? Yeah. If you do one book a week, which both of us do, yeah. minimum, yeah, it's a lot. for the fucking last <laughs> eight years, years. Yeah, I can't even tell you. I have books everywhere. I have it in my phone. I have it in my house. I got yeah, it in my, in my bag, car. In my in bag. My car, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I got some that have spread out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so invest your money in books to, 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 yeah. give, to give other people. Yeah. Yo, like ed- spend your money and ed- um, invest your money in helping others grow. Yeah, and that's what you that's what, what mean? will and give then, you. And then that's fuck, real whatever. gratification. Listen, if you want to get your car, blah, blah blah, that makes you feel good for the moment. That's fine, but that's not the goal. That you don't need to flaunt that. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. doesn't make sense. And it's not a race. You look stupid. Like, there's so many people. Like, there's so many people that we know personally who are so well off that don't even show that they're well off. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my god. Right. Mm-hmm. And 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 it's that realization that got me. Right. Like the same guy who has fifteen thousand square foot house. Mm-hmm. He has a fucking. Fo- he has a pickup truck. Yeah, yeah. He has a truck. Yeah. Bro. This guy could buy Lamborghinis and yeah. Ferraris all day. He's like, what am I? How am I gonna get to my my construction site on that? With on that? a Lamborghini. <laughs> a Lamborghini. Like, what is that? Was it for? What yeah. do I need that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mind you, he has like he has a golf course in his back. Yeah, but hey, that's his thing. But, dr- but drive like he doesn't need to show the public when he I goes the out, guy that out I, there. I have wealth. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? Because. He calls us up, guys who don't have a lot of wealth, to hang out. Yeah, come on, <laughs> like, like let's, yeah, let's, let's drink. Dude, what do you guys want to? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not about that, uh, man. Because when you, when you have that, it's just it, it it goes by so fast. It's the same thing as when you get super fit. 
that gratification goes away so fast really fast and then you you're that now you're like yeah now you get depressed and you're it's just it's, i want it more i want it, more it, it kind of mentally messes you up 100 didn't like didn't you feel course, that way of course i don't like what where do i go from here Dude, this was, was my goal since i was weirdest, like 16 15 was, years old it's the weirdest thing in the planet I'm isn't like, it yeah when i was 15 all the way through like 21 22 i'm like yo i'm gonna be a bodybuilder shredded mm. on stage and all. i got there yeah i remember you and i did not want to do anything after that i was like <laughs> this is it I'm not any happier. Fuck, if anything, I lost more people in my life because I shut everybody off. You're right? And all I focus is on myself. That sucked. Yeah. And I was, I really don't know what to go from here. And I, I dropped it. Or the other thing, oh, I'm going to get all these girls because I, like, for a young yeah, guy. Yeah, of right? course, of course. I'm so ripped. I'm jacked. I'm getting all these girls. That was honestly the least amount of sex I've ever had in my life. <laughs> they don't like that shit, dude. <laughs> really, they don't like that shit, man. No, but maybe it's the mentality that you have, like, as it is. It's hundred percent. It's kind of like, oh, you better like me. You should yeah, like me. Yes. Instead of, hey, let's have a conversation. Let's let's yes. explore each other's yeah. you know lifestyle and let's talk. No. Let's let's let's. It's like, now it's all. Right. But yeah. then and then and then the whole thing is. Phys- I'm not saying you can't be a normal person and be ripped. I'm not saying that. But my that was my mistake when right. I was younger, right? Right. It's almost like oh, I don't need charisma anymore. I have my fucking abs. I yeah. you know, I could talk to any girl. It doesn't work. That it way. didn't work, man. It doesn't work. That it didn't way. work. It got more depressed than. Listen, the you biggest know, thing that you can get from us here today, there's always going to be dangling fruit along the way. And don't think that you have to compare yourself to people uh, that you, you got to get fit the fastest or you got to get the, you know, you got to get your gratification the, 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 the shortest way possible. Don't think, you, you know, you, you have to put a public persona on the moment you open a business or anything like that. Guys, gratification doesn't come from material things, status. Mm-hmm. It comes from everything that you go through along the way that 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 takes you there yeah you know what i mean like instinct and that is a huge difference between real successful people right look at arnold schwarzenegger who's real successful super fit whatever he became governor hollywood blockbuster he's just the guy but it wasn't just an instant gratification this guy's been in there and he's been working on every part of this persona of his Oh, for grinding. the past 50 years. Grinding. Do you see that documentary 40 years. on him? Grinding. Yes. Right, like when he was in the military. Works in the his gym, ass in the military, in the film business, to Miss, market missed his, himself. Missed his father's funeral. Missed his father's funeral. Exactly. And those are the things because you know what? He could have simply just been like, oh, you know what? I'm Arnold. I'm, I'm like the epitome of, 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 of male Adonis right now. You know, but he didn't stop there. And did you know that when after he, when he was done the, his governor thing, he went back to acting, right? Yeah. He went for auditions. Yeah. Like, they didn't just give it to yeah, him. Yeah, no, no. He was like, because everyone's like, oh, you could have just walked into anything, any studio and be like, yo, I want to be part of that. He's like, no, I, I was away from the game for so long. I have to pay my dues. I need to audition and prove myself again. That's amazing. You get That's what amazing. I mean? Yeah, from a exactly. guy who, who is an icon. He is he's, Mr. Hollywood, yeah. He, he's on our freaking inspiration Yeah, he's in Mr. Wall. Hollywood, yeah, for Mr. sure. Mr. Hollywood, whose who's video, billions of people see yeah. his videos. The term, I'll and, be back, is like, and coined he's, his. He's putting his name in the hat, trying to get yeah, about, uh, I trying I just, to audition yeah. for parts exactly. again after years away. And, yeah. and still being an icon. Yeah, and that's what it really takes. That's That should give you guys a perspective on gratification and how, what it really means. Yeah. And it's not that instant shit that you guys are all looking for. So you got to change that mindset. If you actually, if you want real gratification, first and foremost, you got to change your mindset. Change your mindset of what that gratification should be should and be. is. Exactly. And lay it out. All right. If you guys have any questions towards this, if you have any comments, please direct them. Hit us up on Instagram at strengthenu, S-T-R-E-N-G-T-H-N-U. And we're looking for some topics. Please hit us up with topics that you want us to cover. Yeah, let us know. Thank you for everyone who's been um, sending us some topics and ideas and telling us that you like our podcast. Just share with people. All right. Thank you very much. All See right. You soon. Until next time. All right.